Hello, St. Walk Gun Sons Toys, and we are going to do a quick review on Mecha Frieza. Here's a look at him real quick while he's on display. Some of the head sculpts. Looks really good. Get some really good close-ups. Thought I'd try it this way. And that's him with third form, fourth form, second form, and first form. Pretty soon we'll have full power Frieza. And we have golden Frieza too. And then there's where he's split in half. We do not have our Boy from the Future trunks right now. I had sold one of ours off. We have our sealed one, but... He's collector grade. I don't want to take him out. Alright, well I'm going to pause the video and we'll get some measurements and see how well he moves. I'm sure it's going to be great. Okay. Oh, here comes the boys. So here is our collector grade Mecha Frieza. We're going to get a protective case for him. That's the box art. So cool. So cool. They like it. So, let's see how tall Mecha Frieza is. They just got tiny. home from school. Yep. He is about four and three quarters to the top of his cyborg head. Mm, around four and a half, probably. Close, in between that. that. this part. This part that counts? Yeah. Because it's, it's taller? So. Was the tallest point out of all of your body? Let's get a close look at him. I know we got a little roundabout, but we didn't do a full. Oh, yeah. And these pieces right here will mm. come apart or come off. Oops. They are interchangeable on the heads, so you can just pop that in, or like, uh, like that. And that way you can swap the heads around. I know why they did it, to save money, but they did it for the side piece too. Why didn't they just go ahead and mold it in? But this is fine. Yeah, he gets cut in half by trunks. Wait, why are you cut in half? Because he came to kill his mom and dad and him, his younger self. Now his range... He looks up pretty good. He looks down really well. You get that side tilt. You Works well. No, be twice. The neck, if you raise it all the way back, you do get a little gap right there. Bang. But the arms go up good. And these shoulder pads, they. My phone is not wanting to. They will shift. So they made his arms bigger. Or his uh, shoulders that way. I like that. Or so far I do. We'll see if it falls off or breaks real easy. But it looks like it's just on a little ball peg and hinge. You get 90 degrees at the elbow. You got your little peg for your hand. Bicep swivel. See how far his arms come across. He can just about get them all the way. That's not bad. I really like the sideboard parts. It's got a really nice finish to it, I think. And the nice matte paint. I think some black line chanting. Black line work would have probably looked nice. Um for a premium figure but uh i still like it still really cool like the scars right there 
from the battle damage. And for his waist, he lean forward about that far. Back, he gets really good range. You do get a gap down here, but you're not really going to notice that too badly. And then both of his legs are the new legs. The newer version of Frieza. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. That's good range. And they did something kind of neat. They put a cap on it since he's Mecha Frieza. You get really good range out of his feet. They just don't go very far back. But for Frieza, you always get a good ankle rocker, it seems. It's a little bit more restricted, I would say, than the others. Due to this ankle right here. A piece right there. And he can't get the full-on splits due to the raised hip right here from the leg but he does get very good range and articulation and kick back forward and all that you just can't get the full splits i know i'm doing a very good job today i can't get in the video then for his tail Anyway, here is the tail. I had a little bit of a hard time sticking it in originally, but it curves. And it has three points, uh, no, two points of articulation. It pegs into the back, and then it also swivels down here. Not very much, but it is there. So that is Mecha Frieza, and his tail helps hold him up. Now for his, oh, his split half. Doesn't he have a tool? I think that's neat. I wondered how they were going to do this, but his arms and legs obviously pop in. I was wondering if it was going to be like a whole figure. And I'm not really sure about this stand. To me, I mean, it works. I guess that's the reason why you have to have it tilted in such a far angle. It's so that way he can be, you know, spread out. But I wish it was a little taller. Or if you stood it straight up, he didn't have to lean over due to the curve. So maybe there's a reason for that, but I think it could have been implemented better. But still nice to have. Cool little option. And then he also came with the three heads. Which we got right here. Teeth gritting, yelling, and a maniacal laugh. And then he comes with... A set of pointing fingers, which we showed earlier. Daddy's big hands are in the way. Two pointy fingers. Then you got grasping hand and a open blast hand for both, both arms. But yeah, that's Mecha Frieza. I think he is going to look beautiful on the shelf. And I uh, can't wait to add full power Frieza to our collection. Frieza is one of the villains that we are definitely going to keep duplicates of. We have our sealed collection and then our, our collection for ourselves. But he's one of our favorites. Anyway, everybody, hope you enjoyed it. It was a little hard. Daddy just got off work. But uh, everyone have a great day and God bless. Bye. You want to say bye, Christian? Bye. My TV man say bye. My TV man. Oh, Lord. Hey. Ah. You're silly. Ah. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Kamehameha. Yeah. Ah.